Hey, what's good, y'all? It's King Z, and I'm back here on Payday 2 with another build for y'all. So, um, yeah, man, we got the new copycat perk deck, and we're using some of the new weapons here. So, um, yeah, man, if you ain't got copycat yet, you can still get it in the side missions. I've had a couple of people like write comments and pop on the pop in the stream once in a while. I'll be like, I ain't got copycat, man. Go to your go to your play online or play offline. It don't matter. Go to go to side jobs. I'm trying not to swear so I don't get demonetized right away. We gotta give it like a minute or two. But um yeah. Go to your side jobs and then it should be somewhere in like event missions or something. So yeah, just go there and then claim the reward. If you can't claim it yet, then um then do the do the little side mission thing. You should still be able to do it. And then just claim the perk that you know what I'm saying? All you gotta do, well it says here, secure 250 loot bags followed by a successful escape on any difficulty. So if you don't have it, that's what you gotta do. That's kind of a lot of bags, but there, there, there's things you can do to, to, to speed that up. I don't know what you can do to speed that up, but that's not my problem at this point. So yeah, that's how you get the copycat break deck. It's free for everybody, you don't gotta pay for that. The guns, on the other hand, I am using DLC weapons, but you can replace those with something else. I'm running Akimbo shotguns. Um, you can run the Glass are free. Uh, the Grims are free. I think the Grims are the better option. I think it really it is really up to you. The, the Glass and the Grims are both free. So just mod them kind of in the same way I do these. And for the secondary, I am using the Miyaka 10. Um, so if you don't got that, there's plenty of replacements. You can go with a, with a judge. It really doesn't matter. Um, I just wanted to use a Miyaka because I think it's a fun secondary to use. So now that all that's out the way, let's get into the, I guess we'll start with the build. So, um, yeah. And I don't want to see people in the comments saying, why you get this? Why you don't get that? Man, I, I switched this build around a little bit. The gameplay I'm putting up is probably my worst gameplay with this build so far. It was my first game of the day. I just wanted to get gameplay and get the fuck off so I can go play a different game. Um, so yeah, this gameplay is terrible. I have other gameplays in my um, in my past like three or four streams. All I've been using this build nonstop, testing it and shit, so I know it works. Um, yeah, and again, I took like took like six, seven months off this game, so I'm not. I ain't got all my movements and shit like I was back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all motherfuckers still think i'm trash or whatever i am but hey that's not the point um so yeah um i made this build for what i need so feel free to switch any skills around bro i'm not i didn't make this build for another motherfucker you know what i'm saying i made this shit for me and what i need it for you know what i'm saying so um yeah if i have some skills you're like why the fuck would i get that bro it's because in the situations i'm in I can use it, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't want that skill, take the shit off and fucking put it somewhere else, man. There's nothing I hate more than when a motherfucker asks, why you got this? Why didn't you get that, man? Because I'm a different type of fucking player than you, you know what I'm saying? So now that's out the way, let's go right into this shit. In Mastermind, um, we only have the Medic Tree, and here is one I switch around quite a bit. So um, yeah, we have Basic Combat Medic, Ace Quick Fix, and Ace Combat Doctor, but I switch between Ace Uppers and Combat Doctor, it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm not playing um, one down, then there's no point in me bringing doctor bags. So I'll go over and use first aid kits. If I'm playing one down, then I, w I would rather have doctor bags than first aid kits. Um, well, it really it, and it depends on the heist too. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I switch between those depending on what I need to use. Over in Enforcer, since I am using shotguns, I got. A bunch of shit in the shotgun tree, almost everything aced except for far away. So, yeah, we have aced underdog, shotgun CQB, shotgun impact, close by, and aced overkill. So, yeah, we surrounded by enemies, we're gonna do more damage, we're gonna take less damage. Shotgun CQB, we're gonna reload faster because nobody wants to reload a fucking shotgun. Uh, we got shotgun impact, so we do more damage. Close by, we can shoot them bitches while we sprinting, and we get increased rate of fire. Although, um,. Yeah, with that ace, we get 15 more shells too. But if you want some extra skill points, you can take that off. Um, because I do have a lock and load of basic. Uh, later on, we'll get into that in technician. So I can hit fire my weapons anyway um, while sprinting. So yeah, close by is not needed. But I'm going to take that extra 15 shells in my magazine. 
and then we got overkill so when we kill an enemy with a shotgun um we get a 75 percent damage increase for 20 seconds and we get weapon swap speed Let's see if we got that um over in tank we got ace resilience um i ace resilience in pretty much every loud but i have just because i hate getting flashbang i usually destroy them in time but you know when i'm playing um when i'm playing pubs teammates don't really destroy flashbangs and yeah i'm usually carrying motherfuckers in pubs i know it may not seem like it you know what i'm saying it might not seem like i'm the one doing the carrying because i'm kind of whack at this shit but trust me bro the pubs i get is fucking insane i don't understand how this happens to me but hey man it is what it is so i got ace resilience so them flashbangs don't last as long they still last a long ass time but it's better than not having an ace then i have basic die hard and basic bullseye die hard you can take off for an extra two points but me personally um like i said in pubs and in solo uh well solo pretty much but i'll, I'll explain later I pretty much do all the objectives, no matter what the fuck I'm playing, uh, whether it be pubs or solos. There's been plenty of public games where I'm the only motherfucker on the team doing objectives. I don't know what my team be doing, because I don't know why you're not doing objectives. Because if we die, this shit is gone, motherfucker. It don't matter. Like, if, like killing shit is not helping with the, with the ice, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm pretty much the only one who's doing objectives. But it is what it is. So, yeah, we got diehards. So we take less damage while interacting with shit which has came in handy quite a lot you'd be surprised how how how, how much uh die hard comes in handy bro Then we got basic bullseye because with this build you're pretty much armor gating non fucking stop um so one thing about this build bro it's a very aggressive build you want to be killing enemies at all times straight tapping motherfucking noggins the entire time you know what i'm saying you want to be splitting motherfucking skulls with this shit pretty much non-stop just to keep your armor up all the time you got a lot of armor regeneration because I'll get into copycat later um, with what we're using for that. But yeah, um, it's pretty much an anarchist dodge build, um, which is kind of weird to say it, but it it, it 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 works pretty good for me at least. Uh, it fits my playstyle, so yeah. So yeah, we got basic bullseye for armor gating, which is pretty much how we survive with this shit. And then over in technician here, all of our skills are in oppressor. See, we got basic steady grip, basic fire control, um, ace heavy impact, and basic lock and load. Um, like I said, you could take off close by over an enforcer um, because we have basic lock and load, so we can uh, hit fire and sprint anyway. Um, but yeah, I think I used to switch around because I had transporter a little bit, like I said, because objectives and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm the only one who moves bags, all that shit. So I think I used to, um, I had lock and load off, and then I had a point in transporter uh, basic and scavenger basic. So that's what I did with those three. But like I said, I switched things around depending on what the fuck I'm doing. I also had drill skills before too, but I honestly have no idea what I did with those. Uh, points but yeah i had I, I i'm switching shit around non-stop so make sure you do that too if there's some skills that you don't think you need so yeah basic steady grip basic fire control ace heavy impact and lock and load um oh well, yeah i didn't have i didn't have ace uh, steady impact when i was first making this shit i put those skills into drill skills so i had hardware expert and drill sergeant instead of um heavy impact but shields were kind of a bitch with this build so i decided to get that so i could stagger them Anyways, steady grip, just increased accuracy. Fire control, we're pretty much firing from the hip all the time. It leaves me at least, I rarely ADS. Um, pretty much with any fucking weapon. I just I just don't ADS unless it's like a sniper or something. So, yeah, that's just a playstyle thing. I don't know if y'all ADS too much. But, yeah, th thinking back, I, I rarely ADS. So, yeah, firing from the hip is just what the fuck I do, I guess. Heavy impact, like I said, shields were kind of annoying. Uh, you'd have to, like, you gotta, like, run in circles around them sometimes. And that can get you killed, especially um, depending on the difficulty you're playing on. If you just run around a shield trying to fucking shoot them in the back, you're getting shot at from 18 different angles and shit. And it's kind of annoying. So, yeah, I just got heavy impact so I can spray them down. They'll stagger and then you can just shoot them while they are uh, on the floor. And lock and load, just hit fire while sprinting. Just a play style thing for me personally. So, then over in Ghost, like I said, this is a anarchist dodge combo type build. So we have dodge skills here. So over in Artful Dodger, we got Ace to Duck and Cover to get that um, sprint speed and dodge chance. 
we got aced parkour and inner pockets um inner pockets we only ace to get up to basic sneaky bastard so yeah it's just the cheapest way to get there i'm pretty sure uh let me see yeah, cause that's four points that's three points maybe four points only. yeah it's just the cheapest way to get up to sneaky bastard so um yeah that's the only reason why we have inner pockets and it helps with concealment a little bit for um sneaky bastard so work so yeah we don't need sneaky bastard ace i think with an ace you only gain like three more dodge i think without it or uh, with that basic we're at 32 dodge and then with the ace you can get to 35 dodge but while you're sprinting that'll go up to 42 dodge and if you have if you're playing solo and you have the bot perk uh, that adds five it'll get you up to 47 so that's good enough to to dodge some bullets here and there you're not gonna dodge every bullet it doesn't matter how high your dodge should be a hundred and fucking seventy eight you're not gonna dodge every bullet in this game bro there's always them bullets that just fucking hit you no matter what so yeah it is what it is dodge is based on luck so yeah that's that um over in silent killer we got basic second win so when our armor breaks our movement speed is increased by 30 percent for five seconds and that is also nice because with our copycat one of our perks i think it's because we run an anarchist in the final slot so that when our armor breaks we have invulnerability for two seconds so that'll just help us get to cover or take time to get a headshot armor gate real quick and get back in the motherfucking action so yeah we got basic second win aced optical illusions basic low below and basic high value target so optical illusions um pretty self-explanatory we just got that for extra concealment to add up to our dodge um, basic low blow increases our crit chance i'm not doing the math on that shit i don't know if it's worth it or not to be honest but i have it there because fuck it high value target just helps with taking out specials so when we mark enemy they take more damage so yeah high value targets always good to have then in fugitive um over in revenant this is optional also this is really more of a one down thing um if you're not playing on one down you don't really need these but um yeah i got nine lives aced and i have aced swan song so um yeah like i said if you're not playing on one down you don't really need nine lives too much uh swan song's just good to have especially if there's a fuck ton of enemies you get swan song on you start spraying with them shotguns motherfuckers gonna drop you know what i'm saying so yeah if you don't use those though then you have 13 extra points to fuck around with and put to whatever you need type shit um, I kind of wanted to bring jokers on this build, but I thought, like, you know, most of my builds rely a little too much on jokers and their health regeneration and shit like that. So I'm like, I'm going to make a jokerless build, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I probably wouldn't end, would have ended up having um, jokers and hostage taker. But I decided against that, you know what I'm saying, just to switch it up. And I think in the first, um, my first go with this shit, I did have inspire. So, yeah, switch skills around, all that shit, like I said, to fit how you play. This is um what i do uh fits my play style anyway in copycat here um in the first four slots well not the first four but the one three five and seven slots they're all three out of four to increase dodge um i played around with a few different ones like uh like maximum health armor and shit but i thought dodge is just the way to go just get as much dodge as i can so yeah we have three out of four three out of four three out of four three out of four and then in the final slot, we have 15 out of 22. So, yeah, that would be Anarchist, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, instead of uh, pretty much Anarchist, instead of fully regenerating armor when out of combat, it'll continuously regenerate armor. And the heavier armor you have, it regens more armor, but it takes longer, which is why we are running the suit. Um, so, yeah, the suit recharges the fastest. Uh, so, yeah, we're pretty much armor gating the entire time like i said this is a very aggressive fucking build so if you're not a super aggressive player like me who always wants to be in the action always want to shoot motherfuckers then this probably not the build for you but yeah we also have that skill so when our armor gets depleted we're immune to health damage for two seconds but that cannot occur more than once every 30 seconds so once your armor gets depleted you're invincible for two seconds and they gotta wait another 30 seconds for that to happen again so yeah that's that um I guess onto the suit equipment all that shit so yeah for armor we are rocking the two-piece suit because it has the most dodge and the quickest armor regeneration i'm not sure how fast that regenerates uh like once it breaks but it is pretty motherfucking quick so 
yeah, I think like if you're out of combat for like a second or a second and a half, you should have your armor back enough so you can take another motherfucking bullet because that's you're gonna be taking a lot of goddamn bullets. So um, yeah, uh, my build right now currently has 32 dodge. You can get that higher if you can um, get guns with more concealment, but I've been I have fun fun with these guns, so yeah, that's what I'm going with. Uh. Like I said, run the doctor bag or um, first aid kits. It depends on what skills I'm having and the heist, what I'm doing, type shit like that. So yeah, currently I have the doctor bag on, but I switch between first aid kits. On to the guns now. Like I said, I'm using the Akimbo VD-12s. So yeah, if you don't have these, you can replace them with the Goliath or pretty much any other um, Akimbo shotgun. Uh, uh, pretty much Goliaths or Grims. I forgot the names. I think it's Akimbo Judges. Uh, I don't think I've ever used those in my fucking life. But... Yeah, the Akimo shotguns are starting to grow on me a little bit. It's not something I used to use too much, but yeah, I kind of just recently got into the Akimo shotguns, and I'm loving them, so yeah. On these, I'm using the Short Barrel, um, the Silent Killer Suppressor. I have a Concealment Boost on that to help with the dodge, um, and I think that might be it. Oh, yeah, I have a Stealth Laser Module. Um, you don't need a laser on these. Um, I think the Compact Laser Module works fine. I just put the stealth one on because it's new. So, um, yeah. The grip, I have the straight grip uh, that adds concealment on that shit. And my VD-12s have a 21 concealment. So, yeah, good enough for me. My detection risk total is 12, though. But if you can get it lower than that, then you'll have more dodge. So, yeah, keep that in mind when you're fucking around with your weapons. My secondary, like I said, the Miyaka 10, um, probably one of my favorite secondaries in the game. I just like running around with it. But use whatever you like it really don't matter too much i got the ms10 short bail on there um low profile suppressor another concealment boost uh micro laser on that motherfucker uh wood comfort grip i put the speed mag on that hoe i think that um that uh that fucks with concealment a little bit but you reload it a whole second faster so yeah, that gets me down to 10 detection risk if I take it off, but I'm going to leave that on because I like having reload speed. No sight because I don't aim and uh, don't put any stock on that. But yeah, use whatever weapons you want. Just uh, use Akimbo shotguns because that's kind of how the build works. If you're not using the, um, if you're not using a shotgun on this build, then it's kind of useless. Unless you take all the shotgun skills off and put those points somewhere else. Um... Can, um throwable i switched between a concussions and incendiary grenade and molotov i think the incendiary is a little bit better and that's a and that's free so molotov you need the barbecue weapon pack um see i switch between the incendiary and concussion grenade it depends if the heist has captain winners or not if it does um then i'll probably use the incendiary grenade if it doesn't then i go with the concussion and it also depends if I'm playing in pubs or not. If my teammates can kill winners and I don't have to worry about them, then I'm going to bring concussions. But if I feel like I'm going to have to kill that motherfucker, then I'm rocking with incendiaries. So, yeah, I switch between concussions and incendiaries. It's up to y'all. Like I said, melee, I rock the buzzard. All the, yeah, not the buzzard, the buzzer. All the motherfucking time. It really doesn't matter what build I'm using unless I'm using a stealth build. I don't want to taste somebody and never make me shoot. If you don't have the buzzer, then go with the electrical brass knuckles so um yeah i think that's pretty much all the build um the gameplay like i said is absolute fucking dog shit if you want to see a uh, better gameplay then go back and watch some of my streams you know what i'm saying um i don't even think the gameplay is really the first the first wave of that safe house raid bro it was insane i don't know why there was so many enemies bro there was like two minigun dozers a medic dozer and like an LMG dozer all at one fucking time. There's not much you can do in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the first wave was... It felt like all three waves was coming at me at the same time. That shit was insane. But yeah, the second wave and the third wave weren't too bad. But that first wave, god damn, they fucked me up. But um, yeah, if you want to see some better gameplay, tune into my streams. Or go back and watch uh, um, some uh, other streams. Um, I think I made this build live mostly so um i'm probably gonna have to throw some other gameplay on this shit i've been talking so goddamn much and safe house raid is only like 15 minutes so yeah i'll see what i can do about that but yeah um that's it for this video leave a like if you enjoy it subscribe if you are new um make sure you turn the motherfucking notifications on so you don't miss it and i'll see y'all motherfuckers later